Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at reasons why your USB drive isn't doing a USB flashback properly. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at the reason, the primary reason generally, why your motherboard won't do a USB flashback. Now these two drives here are effectively exactly the same. Both of them 32 gigabytes, both of them formatted FAT32. Both have got exactly the same version of the BIOS which has been downloaded, extracted and renamed. One of these flashes the BIOS, the other one won't. There's a very good reason for it and that reason is GPT. Now this is part of the file system structure. One of them's MBR, one of them's GPT. GPT is for newer UEFI based systems and you'll quite often find that if you've got a USB drive, which has worked previously, if you've formatted it a number of times in various machines or used it for other purposes, then potentially it could have been converted unknowingly to UEFI, which unfortunately will not work for USB BIOS flashback. So it does have to be MBR. So I'm gonna go over to the computer now and show you how to make sure that your USB flash drive is converted to MBR and not GPT. Okay, so this is our Windows desktop. So let's just stick in our flash drive. And there it is with our BIOS flash file on there. So what we wanna do is we wanna open up a command prompt. So go to start, type in command, and you want to run as administrator. You can, if you want to, right click and choose run as administrator. You get the black pop-up window because uh, this is OBS, then you won't see that, but just click on yes and then you'll get the administrator level command prompt. Make sure it says administrator here, otherwise it won't work. So what we wanna do first of all is type in disk part and press enter. And now what we need to do is type in list disk. So as it kind of explains, it's gonna tell you what disks are actually physically attached to the computer. So if we look closely there, you can see disk zero is our main primary NVMe drive. And just at the end there, you can see where it says GPT. And there's a star or asterisk there. And also for disk one, which is our USB drive, which is our 32 gig drive, but formatted down as 28 gigs, also is showing that it's a GPT drive. So in order to show you the differences, if I unplug that, and I'll plug in my other USB drive, which is exactly the same, with the same ROM, etc., And we, uh, List disk again, you can see now disk part is showing that similar drive, but it doesn't have the asterisk there for GPT. So that is where the problem is. So what we're gonna do is take that drive back out and put the other USB drive back in. And we're gonna run that command again. And now we're gonna do select disk one, because we want to concentrate on disk number one. So that says disk number one is now the selected disk. So the easiest way of doing this is, you can, well, you can either do two things. You can do clean, which will basically erase the drive and all of its properties, which I prefer. So do that. So the disk is now clean. So the disk is now empty with nothing on it. And now what we want to do is do convert and MBR. Then press enter. And there we go. Disk part successfully converted the selected disk to MBR format. So if we now unplug that drive and plug it back in, Windows will recognize it and we can go ahead and format it in disk management. So there we go, there is an unallocated disk. Right click on it, choose new simple volume, next, next, next. And then we can choose for FAT32 again, get rid of new volume, perform a quick format, click on next, finish and there we go by the power of grayskull we have a new drive which is now in the mbr format and if we want to actually check that we can go up again and do list disk and there we go this number one is now online 28 gigabytes as we were previously but it's no longer in the gpt format it is now back to mbr so there you go, that is how to convert your USB drive back to the MBR format to allow you to do a successful BIOS flash. There are gonna be potentially other reasons why your BIOS isn't flashing correctly, or you've got a solid light, etc. Potentially you've got the wrong file, 
it's the wrong motherboard, the motherboard is made by another company and there's a separate BIOS, etc. Lots of those things that can happen. If you're not sure, please do reach out to us on our Discord and I'll do my very best to help you out, as will the other moderators and VIPs in our Discord. But I think that's going to pretty much wrap this one up. Hopefully it's going to be useful to you and hopefully it manages to uh, resurrect your motherboard and allow it to be flashed via the USB stick. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.